The International Robot Expo or IREX 2022 was held in Tokyo, Japan and included not just several industrial robots but also a lot of innovations in humanoid and bio-inspired robotics. In one video, you can see the entire program report. Japan is the world's leading industrial robot producer, supplying 45% of all robots. Japanese firms' export share climbed by 78% in 2020 when 136,069 industrial robots were shipped, but industrial manipulators are a separate topic. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more intriguing videos like this, and be sure to watch this video to the end. Therefore, anytime we upload a new video, you'll be notified so that you won't miss out on interesting videos from us. Here, we will look at the most interesting and unusual robots from the exhibition. Without further ado, let's get started. The Capricorn robot from Kawasaki Robots, which has wheels, legs, a saddle horn, and a steering wheel with paddles, was one of the most exciting and strange innovations at IREX 2022. The robot is a descendant of Kawasaki's Kaleido human platform, at least in terms of the legs. The robot can walk on rough terrain on four legs and transform into a wiggled platform if there is a smooth road. The robot physically gets on its knees and extends another pair of wheels with a motor from its belly. The robot can transport products weighing up to 100 kilos, but it is also designed to carry people who can drive the car with a steering wheel in the same way that you handle a bicycle or a horse. The inventors hope that the robot can be used to move items and perform inspections in construction and industrial plants, as well as transport produce harvested by farmers in the fields. The robot can broadcast video from its cameras in its head, and movement is given in two modes direct control by a human sitting on top and remote control with remote control using data from sensors such as a gyroscope mounted on the robot to generate stepping movements. Furthermore, the robot watches its complete body posture and will not fall if it is unexpectedly knocked to the side, for example, or if its foot meets an unstable surface. According to the company's vision, these robots would support people in dangerous tasks as well as care for their sick and aged. Kawasaki also presented the Kalita robot as well as its friend, which is named Buddy in the future. Kalita is the most powerful and agile of the robots. It can and will get to the scene of an accident, clear the wreckage, and retrieve individuals from under it, which can be recognized even in a pile of gravel. The robot is 179 centimeters tall and weighs 83 kilograms giving it the range of motion of an adult male but restricting its operations to small and limited locations. The Kaleido was suspended during the exhibition, but the makers claim that the robot is unusually sturdy and does not fear falls. The robot walks and moves like a human. For example, it is steady not only on half-bent legs but also on straight legs, and it can walk at a maximum speed of 4 km per hour. The robot can lift to 60 kg and is stronger than a person. Kaleido can also forecast unstable positions for itself and adapt to them in real time to maintain stability. The Friends robot stands 160 centimeters tall, weighs 54 kilos, can lift 10 kilograms, and walks 3 kilometers per hour on batteries. The robot is intended for entertainment, care, and support of patients in hospitals and nursing homes. The developers have not stated whether the robot can currently converse with humans in natural language, but PALS will undoubtedly have this feature in the future. In everyday life, Japanese people regard robots as friends and assistants. Possibly in the future, companions will be available for home usage as well. The robot musician Automeroi, developed in partnership with Miwa Denki, was playing highly veered music for the European ear on an even more bizarre instrument during the event. At the exhibition, the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries displayed an autonomous harvesting robot which was meant to be simple and inexpensive so that farmers facing labor shortages could buy it. The robot utilizes computer vision to detect and harvest ripe fruit and stretched cables were the most cost-effective way to move it. Medicaroid, a joint venture of Kawasaki Heavy Industries and Seismic, a medical electronics producer, introduced a tentative surgical robot to the exhibition. The robot got regulatory certification in August and is positioned as Japan's first robotic surgical system. It has no limited specialty and, thanks to its precision and a vast number of degrees of freedom, can conduct a wide range of surgeries. At the event, the human machinery company demonstrated its highly remarkable general-purpose robot working in conjunction with an aerial work platform. 
The humanoid robot is controlled remotely and delivers feedback to the operator for grip strength control. The machine is outfitted with powerful electric actuators that provide it with strength as well as high accuracy motions. According to the developers, the robot is designed to maintain railroads and other transportation systems and works exclusively in tandem with the operator, allowing them not only to save jobs for people but also to increase their wages by improving their skills and protecting workers during operations with heavy elements at height. The concept is not new. We have already seen something similar on a lesser scale from Sarkoz Robotics, which is creating a wide range of service robots based on its Guardian Exo exoskeleton. The autonomous robots are equipped with a positioning system with an accuracy level of 1 cm, allowing them to move in narrow spaces and were displayed at the stand of Keenan Robotics which supplies its solutions to more than 30 countries. The robots are designed for the hotel and restaurant business. They can speak with users and exchange data via menus. The navigation system enables the robots to swiftly adapt to a new area and the auto charge feature makes it easy to operate. The SoftBank Robotics Group firm is actively involved in the development of the company. Kawasaki Heavy Industries also debuted their Nochi Autonomous Service Robot, which can move and work in an unstructured human environment. It is safe for humans, and it can open standard doors and easily handle boxes in a warehouse or trays at a restaurant. The robot is equipped with a LiDAR and vision sensor to create a map of the environment, comprehend its place in it, and detect everything that is going on around it. If the robot becomes confused or an error happens, Nochi can also be converted to remote control to teach the robot new skills. It merely recalls the moves given to it by the user. The robot employs an AMR or Autonomous Mobile Robot System, which allows Nochi to find the best route to a given objective. At IREX 2022, Tokyo Robotics showed a prototype of a mobile gripper cable of picking up and carrying cardboard boxes of various sizes without breaking them. The robot is intended for short-distance delivery, palletizing and depalletizing in small and medium-sized logistics, manufacturing, and distribution facilities. The robot's left and right grippers independently spin up and down and have a side slip capability for tidy palletizing shores. Because the location and shape of the cardboard boxes can be identified by computer vision, a steady operation is achievable. Each gripper has 4 degrees of freedom and can lift objects 160 centimeters off the floor. Future concepts include support for rail-free navigation employing SLAM technology, in which the robot travels by using lines or markings on the floor. Kawata Robotics displayed its humanoid robot HRP4, which weighed only 39 kilos and stood 151 centimeters tall. The robot made a sensation in 2010 and has since been used primarily for advertising by the company. The exhibition's primary announcement was the humanoid collaborative robot Next Stage Philly, which is a continuation of the Next Stage line, which has long been actively deployed in Japanese industrial businesses. According to the business, the robot epitomizes pragmatism and Kawanda's three development concepts, compact size, price to performance matching, and design with proximity to humans. Philly is intended not just for businesses, but also for other applications like hospitality, industry, and the like. Even though the robot's talents at the reception desk are not spectacular, even though it appears quite deft in production, on the Japanese market, Philly will cost slightly more than $50,000. Honda Motor displayed an autonomous delivery robot co-developed with Rakuten, a movable platform for construction sites that were only seen in the video booth. The Uni1 electric wheelchair and an avatar robot of its invention. By the way, the last one does not appear to be extremely technologically sophisticated in comparison to everything else on the market now. It appears that the corporation simply wants to demonstrate that it had such innovations. There were also Kantiki robots at IREX 2022 that moved in rhythm with one another and were reportedly built for remote communication. A scooter with augmented reality characteristics for traveling around theme parks was an intriguing novelty. Nowadays, no robot show would be complete without automatic cooks, which are frequently developed based on industrial manipulators. The artificial intelligence exo weed complex displayed at IREX was built in Kinova and Universal Robots collaborative robots that produced coffee and Japanese pancakes. There was also a 4-foot ping-pong robot from Omicron, which is incredibly accurate and virtually never loses. 
It forecasts the trajectory of the ball before and after impact with the racket, as well as the movement of the racket, such as its speed and direction of return of the ball. Overall, the IRX 2022 is rather uncommon, as sophisticated technology was mixed with an unexpected attitude to the robot themselves by the Japanese. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like it and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on another wonderful video from us. Till next time.